Welcome back to another week of interesting games. Here are five games I picked out that uh, have a variety of uh, engine versus non-engine kind of feels to them. Um, some where there's an engine that you didn't expect there to be one, or I didn't expect there to be one. And some where uh, there's not, and you have to figure out how to cope. Um, all of these games I've played in the last week, and they were against five different opponents, as you can see here. We have a uh, game against JSH, RLT88, Huevos Locos, JFrish, and Gray EK. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the first game. Alright, this first one was just basically a fun board to play. There's some good draw with Worker's Village Ranger, Coin of the Realm, good trashing with Mercenary, and it was pretty even. We both picked up a Leprechaun and were able to get some wishes out of that. Um, so take a look at how we built and uh, had a pretty nice engine by the end. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, good copper trashing with Spice Merchant. Oh, Urchin, of course. Urchin, Urchin could be the opening. Um, you're going to trash down, you're going to get work village. Um, you're going to probably set the ranger thing up. And, oh, you can even ranger coin of the realm. That's kind of nice. There's bells, there's baths. The baths encourages you not to do too much. I have two five. Two five. Well, hmm. That's annoying. I'm not going to get an urchin then. On two, but I think the coin of the realm is worth picking up, so. Yeah, um, what do I do for my five? Do I just get urchin? Spice merchant, interesting. I, mean, I think I need another urchin, but I think I might be inclined to get the sacred grove. Although sacred grove doesn't really help you with. Yeah, there's trading post also. Do I should ignore the urchin thing? Um, no, I go urchin. I guess spice merchant urchin. Here I get second urchin. And now I, I will get the workers village, I believe. Or do I want the price mention? For better pairing. I'll get the look as so That's a good sign for the urchin. Um, he gets his second mention turn four. I think it's time for me to get in on the rangers. That's great, I have my two urchins. He misses his second urchin, so he also gets it on the ranger. And I'll get another coin of the realm. I don't think I'm going there. Mercenary, he does connect. It's his second coin. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't want to play coin. Um, a little unfortunate. I will have the ranger and the mercenary. Um, do I get another urchin? Or do I get another coin? One coin on the map. Hmm. Do I get Leprechaun? The gold doesn't seem like it's doing too much at this point in my deck. I think I just get another coin. Silver similar and you're not doing too much. I could go double mercenary. I could power up with beggars. But that seems a little excessive. Fresh water's coppers. I 
unfortunately. I will be trashing two powers. Probably having to call coin. Yeah, sure, I'll get another one. Oh, I don't have to call coin. Get one down on the mat and get a second. Probably gonna draw my next one. So. Rather trash to the state. <laughs> nice. He gets the leprechaun again. I mean, I guess once he has two inches. That's nice. All point of the realm. Range or work with village. Trash two. on the mat. Um, I'd really like to get the Burger's Village or something. Um, Yeah, is it time for Leprechaun finally? Or do I really just want like a third range? Um, I'll take I'll take the Worker's Village. I think I'll take the Beggar. I don't know if we'll still too early for that. Yeah, I'm not really happy. Um, let's start next turn. Yeah, I'll call the coin. Get that ranger down. I think it's time for my other time. So he's relying entirely on the coins for the ranger. That's that's a pretty nice turn there. What's he gonna get with his wish? That's another goal. Yeah, Orc Orcus Village is the way to go. Um, Orcus Village being mercenary. Yeah, let's do it. Five, six, and I have another call, another coin to get that. Hmm. 
it would get me I would trash these two out of the four. Yeah, let's just do it. And I'm not gonna call it coin. Eight. So I think that I want that to be I think I want to get a beggar. Um, how am I in action for all? I'm only going to play one of these cards. I'm going to get the beggar. With two coins on the map. Yeah, I'll, I'll get another coin. So I can call two per turn. Ranger, coin, beggar. And my, neck, my wish will be a ranger if I can make it a ranger. Oh, I get some silvers for this. Sure. If he attacks me, I will discard my coin. So he's, he's got the Spice Christian on me. But he doesn't have anything to do with the Spice Christian. I'd just play it in order to activate Leprechaun. That's very interesting. Yeah, so we each have three rangers. I'm definitely going to want a fourth. That's my main draw. I've got two workers who wishes to his. So ideally, I will wish for the ranger this turn so I can flip my token four times and then be all set for the beginning of the turn. At the beginning of the turn, it's tricky. Um, he drains the coins. Okay, so I've got four, he's got six. I mean, there's workers' village, so it's not the biggest deal. Ranger. Um, those three, four, five. All coin of the realm. Two, three, four. Five, six, Leprechaun. Uh, I have another coin of the realm to call, so I will do that after I let's see. If I want to play three more actions, those are going to be Beggar, Ranger, Mercenary. Beggar, Mercenary, Ranger. So, yeah, let's do it. Beggar, mercenary. And I'm gonna cash the other mercenary. And I'm gonna wish for. Huh, do I want another gold? I just save my wish. How much money do I have here? 8, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 money and a lot of buys. So I think this is what I want to be promising. And how many rangers do I have? I have 4, he has 3. I could take 6 rangers. And I think that's what I want to be doing. And I also want my wish to be. I don't think the worker village. And I know that's not the most efficient use for this turn. But this gives me one, two, three, four, four rangers. So I try to pick up two more rangers.
I mean, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I really need to draw that leprechaun to give me a frame to be able to get the wish. Um, maybe two more workers' villages. Am I risking compiling that? I don't think so. That's a lot and a lot of money. I'm definitely setting myself up to pile a few dozen. Um, Alright, we got rangers in hand. That's a great sign. Good discarding gold and mercenary. But I don't think you can really mercenary anything. We'll just discard the gold. I still have two more coppers without the beggar. I think I have a little more money than that. Two, two extra silvers from the beggar helped. So. He's got a wish. Okay, he wishes for Worker Village. He's going to try to end it. Um. Does he have a He does. He might end it. Yeah. Yeah, because he can wish for Worker's Village. Poor Ranger. Ah, I didn't I didn't see the wishes. I didn't see the fact that he had a wish. Yeah. Ah, I didn't see. <laughs> Nice play, JSH. Well, he's gone. All right, thanks for watching. So that game uh, <laughs> reminded me how easy is, it is to pile in Leprechaun games, because the Wish can just pick up those cards that are missing. And I really shouldn't have lowered piles. I probably should have gotten a province just to ensure against that, or at least not drained the workers' villages so much. Um, I didn't really like his Spice Merchant there. I thought that you want to be using the Mercenary to trash, and it gets you a few more attacks in to still have coppers around. Um, but it did let him get that quick Leprechaun activation a little bit earlier than me. So maybe that made a difference. I don't know. I think I, in her, his position, I probably would have opened a double urchin, though. Thanks for watching. All right, this next board uh, was a really interesting board to me. Um, you can see that there's some fairly strong attacks in the mountain bank and the swamp bag, but it's a single terminal board, so you're only going to get one of those in. And uh, the other big thing that's nice here is groundskeeper. You want to get a lot of those so you can uh, score well, especially because there's no draw or extra actions. Um, sentry is also real nice for the trashing. And uh, yeah, you'll see we, we did a little bit of different things here. Uh, I was kind of surprised how this played out, um, but it was a well-fought game against Alti88, and uh, really interesting with how things turned out in the end. Take a look. Okay, so this game we have Bonfire. Um, there is Sentry for trashing. Mountain is still strong. Um, catacombs. Yeah, they're only going to get one terminal plate, and that might just be the mountain bank. Uh, bonfire will trash the ruins from Rotter if you play them. Uh, Harbinger can top deck stuff that the sentry won't see. Uh, there's rebuild as an option as well. Um, I kind of think the mountain bank will just completely destroy that, but. Groundskeepers, you can pile up groundskeepers later in the game. But again, Mount of Bang. Mount of Bang is key. So, am I doing bonfire or something? Or am I doing silver? Silver. I really want to hit five. For sentry and then for not bank. So okay, good, he doesn't have five two. That would would have sucked would have sucked. Um yeah. Okay, so I will hit five next turn. And this is not a great bonfire. He gets no my camp for that purpose. I don't think I agree. I think now I get the carbanger. And now I get the sentry. 
Huh. This trash is too covered. Alright. Sentry. Sentry first. And this is great because I will get the round bank and hopefully trash the next cards. Uh, trash one. That's okay. That guy will actually draw. He's actually a useful Harbinger. And I could even get second century. I think I can't go really wrong with the middle bank. <clears throat> All right, I have four. That's annoying. But um, what do I want to top deck? It's a true top deck. That's like a fresh deck. Um, I think the century is more important. And let's bonfire to cover. All right, I get the metal bank anyway. And unless I draw an estate, which there's one estate and seven cards, there's also a harbinger. So it's really one and six. I will have another five. I don't draw the estate. In fact, I trash the estate. That's great. That harbinger won't draw. No. And I come out of a him. And now do I just pile up the I think yeah. Second century. That's pretty key. Next I will get groundskeepers. He's for going mount of a. Interesting. Hopefully I can punish him for it. Um, yeah. Trashing well. Oh, there is value in getting this plus buy in the traveling fair. Oh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on the groundskeepers. Okay, please don't drown my state. Drown me. He gets the gold. Interesting. And he has a curse. And so I think I still want Mountain Bank to be my terminal. Um, and I'm gonna just top that groundskeeper. Trashing copper and silver. Aggressive. So I'm prepared if he were to go Mountain Bank, because he's bonfiring down, getting Harbinger. Don't know where he's going with this. I'm just going to keep on getting groundskeepers. I think. You can do the kind of golden deck thing. The duchies or still more estates. Um, Scoring on it. He keeps blocking, that's that's kind of annoying. That one curse in his deck. Um, yeah, when do I stop with the groundskeepers? Let's, let's not stop. Let's keep on going. Groundskeeper is great with rebuild too. Yeah, I don't need to top deck, I guess.
Alright, I might have been hit. Um, so if I got the 12 money, then I could steadily get two groundskeepers. And that's six money. Two more golds would do it. Um, and I have the draw. Yes, I have exactly the draw. Um, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, maybe I won't do that. Um, this does let me get the groundskeeper in this case. Let's start on the score. I have the estate in hand, but that's okay. I have one overdraw here. Um, You can get, if you can get double crowns keeper, you can. I got three VP from my ground keepers. I have four ground keepers. Can I split the ground keepers? That'd be nice. He's keeping his estate. Make sure that's bottom deck. So don't top deck. I can discard the curse. Um, how have I still only given him okay I clearly want the groundskeeper And I will trash these estates. Ideally. Ideally. So he's making sure he gets that Noma camp in his hand. He gets a duchy. Don't draw the estate, okay. Entry and estate. And I have two estates in hand, that's annoying. Can I not trash with Sentry?
Okay. <clears throat> I have Swamp Egg in place, so he will have to get his curses. Yeah, Swamp Egg may be better than Badge Pick. I'm surprised, but. But no man can't better than both of them? That's the thing that I'm not really... I'd be really surprised if he, if he wins this with the... No man can't. He gets Sentry and a Curse. Touchy and a Curse. Three. DP. So he takes a point lead. Um, Yeah, so I got the only two of my five groundskeepers now. So, yeah, I've got my swamp pegs going. I think top decking a sentry is my best bet. What do I have in here that I could want to trash? Oh, wow. I trashed two curses. That's quite nice. It's got five centuries to my three. Swamp Egg will still continue to hurt him, I think. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a nice point lead for him. Yeah, the gold is fine. And I drew the estate, of course. Oh, I should have played sentry first. Uh, oh well. Okay, 10. With all my groundskeepers in play. If I do two of these, I can get three estates. I think that's best. And now I hope my sentries can trash those. He has to keep his green. Interesting. So he's got four groundskeepers down. He takes Duchy Estate. He's got a five point lead. Let's see, let's see. Uh, if I have ten dollars, I can get Duchy Estate. <sighs> ten dollars gets me Duchy Estate. Well, okay. If I if I get my grounds all my groundskeepers down, 
playing by the estate. That's six points. I take the lead. Buying out curses will be losing. So I won't do that. And I will try to draw on. Of course. Of course. I think I just provinced. Um, yeah, so I didn't draw. Oh wait, I want to. I want to. Sorry. Okay, so five groundskeepers in play. If I province, there's a chance he lets me pile up. Swamp pick is certainly nice. But I only have a narrow four point lead here. This card's a groundskeeper. Bold. Oh, he can harm me. That's right. Okay. Oh, he does not have that much money. He buys the duchy. Four is he? He's up two. All right, would the silver win it for me? Um, silver, silver. So what's left? I still have a gold in the province. So silver, silver, three, seven. Um, if I buy the estate, I will get, uh, I have a groundskeeper in there too. I will get five points. Um, if I buy the curses, then I would get total three, and that's winning. So I just need to buy a state curse curse, which costs six, which is what this would give me. Yes. I think I calculated that right. Yep. That was intense. Yeah, groundskeepers. Are yeah, groundskeepers were good. Um, it was uh, it was very interesting. We split the groundskeepers. He had the extra buy from the nomad camp, but. Uh, I had the various attacks, the Swamp Hag and the Mountain Bank early on. It was I was really surprised that the Mountain Bank just got shut down. I mean, I guess he engineered it so he always had a curse in hand to discard um, and cleaned up the extra couple curses before that. Um, but then Swamp Hag, of course, kills you know the plus buy. It's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors there where uh, Mountain Bank will kill the Swamp Hag because the curses will run, but then uh, 
the nomad camp was doing well, well against the mountain bank, and then the swamp hag did well against the nomad camp. So uh, very interesting play there. I, I haven't seen mountain bank fail that badly before in, in at least a while. Um, yeah, and well played by Alti88. I had to adapt on the fly and get the couple swamp hags, which then slowed me down on the scoring, but I was able to eventually catch up uh, by just consistently getting those groundskeepers in play and uh, and then trashing the estates I was able to pick up. So, um, very interesting game. Sentry is only trashing. is always a little bit frustrating. Um, but, uh, yeah, lots of fun decisions along the way. Thanks for watching. All right, this next game, uh, yeah, it was another villageless board, you can see. Um, I, I guess you have the sacrifice, but then it's hard to pile up more actions to sacrifice. Um, it was a very kind of strange engine here because, uh, <sighs> embargo kind of shuts down any of these monolithic strategies, and Museum really encourages you to just pile up the other, uh, cards. So, uh, my money, my, my opponent went for a, uh, money-based, uh, sort of blitz strategy, which helps with the aqueduct picking up those early greens. Um, and I tried to go minion, but it was, it was awkward. Um, <laughs> sacrifice is only trashing, as well as only village is, uh, is hard to deal with. So, um, yeah, this one was kind of a slog, and it was interesting to see how things played out. Take a look. Okay. We got a game with Huevos Locus. And it's got some nice duration draw with Caravan and Wharf. Sacrificing is your village. That doesn't seem too promising. Um, minion is another draw option. And there's Raider, Outpost, and Werewolf, and... Huh, I kind of wonder uh, what the strategy here is. Uh, sacrifice is trashing also, so that that is a key. Museum says you want to do a lot of different things. So, uh, an Aquedux says take treasures before you green, I guess. I don't know. Um, you don't really have the option to do Heavy Merchant Guild here. Even heavy wharf is a little suspect, but I think the single wharf as your terminal is probably the way to go. Oh, I have two five. Well, that's lovely. I can embargo something, and then I can get a minion. Um, yeah, opening embargo is always fun. He gets the sacrifice. So I think I'll do one one of these fives. Um, and I probably want the minion early on. So let's get the minion. Um, I think this is just going to be a sacrifice. So I could shuffle and hope to get he gets a silver. I get only three. That's sad. Oh, I got four. Okay, there we go. This will be sacrifice. And this will be... Hmm, I kind of want to embargo the minions, but... I think just embargo... Embargo war or something. Huh. Embargo silver. Embargo gold. Let's see, what is what is he gonna want first? Um because I kinda want minions more now that I have a minion. Um he has the first caravan. I think I do want an outpost. Yeah, this is tough. <sighs> Uh, let's embark our silvers. Let's get ourselves a caravan. Alright, this will be a second minion. Okay, we want to go on heavy minions. He gets the minion, yeah. So, yeah, let's do it. And he gets embargo. No 
more men. This can easily be sacrificing copper, getting minion. If he doesn't discard me, he discards me. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. <laughs> One dollar hand. Uh, well, it happens. He, he embargoes me. Okay, so he, he's happy with a single minion. That's, I mean, that's maybe the play to go. It's war. I mean, I, I'm gonna want double war. If that's not my terminal. Like, Sacrifice is still my terminal. Uh, so let's not do... I can do Outpost. I'm not ready to hit Curses, so... Yeah, I'm just going to stay with these non-terminals. Get Caravan. I'll probably discard. Yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah, this card. Um, I have another minion in there. Yeah, more caravans is good. And sure, I'll take that embargo. And sure, I'll take another embargo. I can always sacrifice them. Well, he has a lot of money. Takes the province. Good points. Wow. All right, we have all the money we could want. Crash estate. And let's get ourselves the. Um, well, hmm. got a lot of points. He's got a lot of diversity. I think I want the war. I hope I can sacrifice the embargo. I'm going to try to slow this down by embargoing the province. I'm going to go past that. And... I'm going to play the war. That war is really not doing me any good so far. Um, let's hope I draw copper. I don't. Well, that sucks, but, you know, I'll just get the operative points. And start next turn with lots and lots of cards. So this will be... It takes two more caravans. Yeah, caravans are pretty key. Um, 
caravan, caravan, sacrifice, the embargo. Outpost, more caravan, and then let's do embargo outpost and get the last caravan. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Maybe I should do something simpler like him. Got two provinces already. All right, these curses need to go. <sighs> oh, he discards me. Okay, I'll take that. He had seven. That's somewhat lucky for me, I guess. Get the embargo. Maybe he decided that embargo on minion wasn't far enough. And he played a war, so we'll see if he gets a werewolf. Interesting. Alright, need to get some good sacrificing in. So let's get a second sacrifice. I pick up another minion. So, yeah, we'll see. There's lots of money. Gold and province. Well, that's working out well for him. Yeah, you know, this warp is not really working out that well for me. Hmm. I guess I'll sec I'll trash the copper. Down eight, but with a good two turns. Gets a duchy. Down 13, 15. I think it's probably time to. Score in non province plays. It's a uh, minion with no sacrifices. Hmm. Yeah, the werewolf would be the attack. I'm down 11. That didn't really cut 
all that much progress. I can always trash these caravans, but they are doing well. What's he doing? Lord, maybe Dutchy? Yeah. And he gets a problem. That's pretty brutal. Alright, this is a... Uh... Keeping that. How many cruisers are in the trash? Two. But I think I still have one, actually. No outpost this turn. So if I get a duchy. Yeah, I still gotta do it. Uh, no. I have a duchy already. Unfortunately. So. Gets Dutchy was pierced, which I guess stores for him or something. Um, yeah, so I'm at down 14 points. This is uh, pretty bad. Yeah, sorry. I don't want to play talking back yet. I need to score in a non-province way, so that means I need to get, like, a raid. So, we'll just do this thing. And pick up our raider. It's really just a matter of time before you can probably see him. Okay, I don't really mind that. Well, we'll see what I draw. Yeah, the minion deck didn't really work out against Embargo. Yeah, he just keeps on piling up these minions. I think I'll get the silver, play the outpost, buy the silver with the curse, play the werewolf, so I give him envious, and then, uh, wow, that turn sucked. Sacrifice an estate for two points. I put a token on that. Oh, man, I thought I could eat two and get an estate at least. But, nope. Three cards up here, right? Yep, that's... At least he's envious. That actually does help. <laughs> that gold is only one. Oh, he gets embarked. He doesn't get off of that. Okay, let's see how this works. <laughs> well, I'm getting the awkward points. Down 11. I have a province though, so that's not really that promising. Yeah, I can play the outpost. 
and actions by gold. Let's play Baron Block his werewolf. Just his caravan. Let's block his werewolf. He's miserable, that's nice. Raider. Alright. I'm down eight. That's not enough. Ah, <sighs> seven points. I'm one point short. I need to get the sacrifice blade. And I guess I'll get Worf and play the werewolf. Or I could get the duchy. How many curses are in the church? Four. He has one, so I have one. So that duchy, not that great. Let's put the Worf. Let's play the werewolf, which he has to discard one card. Yeah. I don't know if it'll all matter. If I can somehow come back here, that'd be awesome. <sighs> this is a super long game. Sacrifice the Duchess. So he's down a card. Uh, down a point there. But he gets to draw a bunch. Hopefully all he draws is green. Come on, don't have like two golds here. Okay, he took off for that point. Um, yeah, I'm just getting the werewolf. Okay. If I get that province. Let's see. I really want Yeah, I'll take I'll take gold for additional That's seven doesn't do it. That's eight. Oh man. Does that do it? Oh man, I came back! Wow! Wow, I did not expect that to work. Good game! <laughs> so the minion deck comes back against the money uh, caravan's wharf deck, which I was way behind there. Man, I'm surprised I came back there. And the Duchess sealed it! The Duchess! The Duchess for the coins! <laughs> Okay, and maybe I'm a little too excited here. That was a fun game. Um, nail biter. Single curse. Tracking your curses. Seeing what embargo was pretty important there. He embargoed minions that slowed me down. He embargoed. Uh, I he embargoed duchy that slowed me down too. Um, yeah, we both ended up getting duchies, and yeah, the sacrifice engine didn't really come together. There wasn't really good close by. Wharf, but it's terminal. Yeah, anyway. Fun game. Thanks for watching. So yeah, maybe not the best played game by me. I think my uh, wharf was a bit early. I wasn't really ready to, for that to be my terminal. I wanted to be sacrificing the rest of my deck. Um, but yeah, the the, <laughs> the in-game scramble to, you know, gotta catch them all kind of style of museum games was kind of interesting. And I think just the way I was able to rally and come back from being down a lot, um, that was uh, that was particularly lucky. It was a uh, it was a very interesting game for Embargo because uh, he played it very well and uh, you know picked up one minion and then embargoed the minions so that he would have the museum points, but then my minion based strategy would kind of uh, choke. And I think maybe a second sacrifice would have been good for me to pick up. 
uh, just so I could maybe sacrifice a cheap action for the for the village effect, um, play the wharf, and then get the second sacrifice into trash like a curse or a copper or something. But that's yeah, it's still building a very uh, monolithic deck with those those minions and um, yeah, I never really uh, came together for me. But hey, I rallied and was able to win. So yeah, interesting kind of uh, ending to that game. A um, little chaotic, but those games can be fun in small doses. Speaking of another uh, throw everything together kind of deck, uh, there's Black Market. And uh, this was a very interesting board. You can see we can build up quite big, up to colonies here. Um, and there's definitely incentive to build with Rabble, which will top deck a lot of your colonies if that's what you get. Um, there's also Tomb for lots of trashing, which made a kind of a lurker rush tempting here. Um, but really, uh, this game came down to kind of how you look through the black market, what you're, what you're looking to get, and, uh, and how often you go to that black market. So, uh, why don't you take a look? Hey, so, a game against Jay Frisch, who I actually know in real life. Um, let's see, there's Tomb Points, and that's, uh, that's favoring you on Lurker. Um, black market as usual is craziness, and it's a colony game. Uh, how do you get Will O Wisp? Oh, idle of course. I have three, four. I mean, you love to spike for junk dealer. Or you just go double lurker. So I think we need villages out of the black market. So I'm going to open black market. And I might go black market potion. So given that you're going to be trashing. I think I might want to go silver. Envoy again, not until you have villages. Same with rabble. Single lurkers, I mean, you trash things. Um, yeah, getting a junk dealer is nice. Potion does inhibit that a little bit. But then once you get a apothecary, you can get the junk dealer. Real quick. Could this be a thing where you mint platinum or something? Is, is this the mint kind of board? No. I'm gonna try the potion. It's probably dumb. And if that's silver, I get to gold or junk dealer here. I just, I mean, I was not gonna draw all that much, but he follows me on the potion. I'm somewhat. Okay, I can get my junk dealer if I see nothing amazing in the trash. Like, I don't know what would be more amazing. Sentry, maybe? Um, rats are nice, but junk dealer is just better. Lighthouse is nice if there's some crazy attacks. But, no. Oh, there's, and there's fishing village, of course. A village I, thought, I said I wanted. That's like a pretty good village as they come. Uh priorities. I could pick the lurker. Especially because he probably has a potion. Alright, this will be another lurker. Apo's bottom deck does his potion. So that's okay. Hey, there's familiar. Okay, junk dealer. Yes. Um let's see what we get. Nothing to get. Is this on gain or buy? It's a on buy. So Hmm, 
more apothecaries, more village. Expand. Expand is nice. Yeah, I'll trash expand. Pick up junk dealer. Hmm. Cherry race, maybe? So that's meh. Masquerade, yeah. Blah. Well, I know what I'm getting. It's just annoying when you don't draw any of the cards you like. Small castle. <laughs> um, yep. Hey, two lurkers. These lurkers could just be like point gainers for me. Um, Terminals are black market right now. Expand, I don't really want, but I'll pick up the junk dealer. And I think two lurkers is enough. Hey, ghost town is pretty good. Uh, he gets a lurker. Alright, time to hide my lurkering tracks. Gain the expand. Um, yeah, Ghost Ship is still a pretty brutal attack even with the apothecaries. Not the greatest. He does have actions, so and he gets one of the black markets, and he picks up some coffers. That's nice. That's what I'm hoping for. Ambassador. Ambassador could be pretty bad. Not really worse than any cursor, especially because at this point we're we're passing coffers. He picks up an iron marker. Ironmonger seems like a nice filter. There we go, trash in the state. Um, It's likely he'll get to a lurker before this. Let's see, he got his lurker. Oh yeah, it's top deck. Um, what do I not think he wants? He doesn't have any good thing to win. I have a ghost ship in there. I mean, I might not have it actually. But I just want the apothecary. Plus, buy is also not really here. 
<sighs> hmm. That that does make Valkyrie worse. Okay, so I think I will ghost ship and expand. So he's trashed coppers, two coppers in an estate. Again, it's not a buy phase, so the peddler is not free. I don't think any of those are worth picking up. He's now trashing mints too. So I have a lurker in here. I think. Yeah. What did I draw? A copper lurker? My only black marker. Do I want silver? Nah. <clears throat> I mean, I guess silver's not that bad. Huh, villa, in, in's nice. I have a copper. Oh, uh, hey, sounds like for my junk dealer. <laughs> junk dealer trashes junk dealer. I don't wonder. It's the pop three. And he has four. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're gonna have to village it now. Apo, top X rabble. Junk dealer trashes the. And let's go ship. Two coppers, sweet. I need more villages. But I didn't even play my black market. Oh boy. This could be like a mint trash now that I have a gold. I don't really want potion then. Yeah, there we go. Mint trash. Oh, the lurker gains back his junk dealer. But he trashed. Yeah, I think that's how I want to do it.
Okay, I think I need Black Market Plays now. Um... Let me discard a potential village. Diplomat Apothecary. Okay. Let's see the Apothecary first. Um, I have so many terminals. Probably want to be playing black market and mint, but they can't do that. So I will instead. Uh, I could just leave all this on top. No, I'd love to. I'd love to cross it, but I don't need the apothecary. Looks good to go ship played. Let's find a village. Nope, no village. Um, we can have a look there, I guess. Passing my rebel. That diplomat isn't getting activated, I don't think. Unless after black market, but I need another village. He's got the village on me. That's kind of annoying. That would be trashed. <laughs> Four mints. Two workers in Spain.
Ah, ya, oke, itu semua. Nice. Yeah, so he realizes I can't get any draw. Ooh. And so his villages are, are great. Um, let me see how many other cards he has. Seven other cards. So let's discard Iron Rocker again. The nine villages. He's got Ironmonger, he's got Villa, he's got Diplomat, and he's got uh, I think those are the three. And he's got three villages in my one. Fishing village is nice. After the village twice. As I remember, we'll see a village. First, he'll get to play. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, not sure I want any of those as him. Ireland is somewhat attractive, but Diplomat is harder to activate them. Procession village. <laughs> An interesting village. Kind of village. The only thing you can possess to be village is a lurker. I mean, you can possess things from the black market. There's also no sixes, so possessing junk dealer is throwing it away. But hey, get all the villages you need to get. Oh wow, for something hireling is great. Ah, this is gonna be slow. Oh, he's got the ghost town. That's the fourth village. That's right. Oh boy. Okay. I'm not going to be able to play the mint because I want to play the black market. So I'm going to save the mint. I'm going to save the apothecary. Or something. Or I'll just drop it.
Okay, come on. Give me a village. <sighs> His intention to get the two black markets for the sake of probably his envoy in hand. Oh no, he just had a bad turn. All right, nothing I can do. Yes, Lost City. Oh, here I come. Oh, thank you. I'm calling. Wait, possession is in the black market? Uh, well, possession is in the black market, and... And there's potion in the game, but both of us trashed our potions after getting the apothecaries we wanted. Okay. Um, uh, it doesn't matter. Flip this card on the way. I guess he has villa in hand or something. There's his villa. So he's got another village in the throne room. I can easily find some pop carries. Or he can just throw in a villa. That's also nice. I've got only top deck with pop carry while city discarded. That's annoying. There's still a rabble in the trash. Yeah, so he doesn't have any more of those. But rabble is the way to punish my game. I witch. Oh man. Okay, he doesn't want the witch. Um, 
This is going to be a long game. Got an envoy top ticked. I think he has the. Now uh, he possesses the higher link. So expand. So I think. I think it's his first platinum. He's got to go to town. Envoy set up. And let's see, I want to be drawing the platinum. No, I want to draw the platinum gold. I think it's reactive diplomat. And he gets the ghost town. And the two cards from Hireling. Yeah, see that Hireling? Oh boy, what do I discard of his? He processed the envoy. Okay, this is just bad. Making the case no, no more play in the game. And that's a ridiculous number of hoppers. All right, well, this game is really, really slow. I would resign if I didn't have like a 30 point lead. And he gets more villages out of his throne diamond longer. Great. Ah, him finding the villages in the black market. I mean, so I paused a moment to think if I should get the junk dealer or fishing village, and clearly fishing village was better. And there's another village in the corner of the realm. His envoys don't matter. He's gonna draw. He's got a tough case. <sighs> Familiar. No potion. <laughs> Another potion card that. Yeah. Farmer's market is at least plus buy. That's something he doesn't really have. Board. Okay. It's probably now he's gonna take the villa. <sighs> oh, you can like trash the villa and then when you buy it, you gain it. Oh, you can junk dealer it and do some tricks. <laughs> uh, emergency village. Junk dealer the villa. I mean, the emergency extra. You have to have a lurker, though. Well, yeah, this is 
This is probably lost for me. But when you're up 28 points, do you resign? I mean, to be fair, I'm going to either blind junk with the top card of my deck or gold. I hope the top card cards of my deck are both colonies. That's lovely. Wait, do I have a fishing village coming in? I do. So I can get colony if there's nothing good in the black market. Alright. Let's see if. Farmland trash platinum to colony. <laughs> and junk dealer, dealer discard colony. Um, question is, do I want a farmland in my deck or a platinum in my deck? I think the clear answer is I think the answer is clear there. All right, I have my lost city. Finally, I can like play it, and then play my ghost ship. Maybe if he doesn't discard it again. Oh boy. So three colonies wins for him, even if he's like expanding platinum or something. So, coach here. No, he's not buying anything. He's doing that so he can diplomat. And I think he's going to want a procession envoy. Again. So I have four colonies in my deck. By rappling enough, he can. Yeah, there he goes. Now he has the rabbles. He can probably come back. Yeah. Um. Oh, he just played the envoy. He didn't process it. Okay, one colony on top of my deck. Process expand. You have two platinum. There's province. And, yep. No, he just needs like five money. Now he just needs to trash something. And two money. Oh boy, okay. He has a lot more than two money. Oh boy, okay. Yep. <laughs> So we actually went on to discuss the game for quite a bit in the chat and uh, count up the villages. and He certainly got far more than me, but I think that wasn't just the luck of the black market. I think it was also his intention of playing two black markets at once. Um, I did not think about that. I, I did not realize that more villages will let you play more rabbles. And 
uh, other terminals and really just uh, get a better handle on uh, your deck. And also, uh, I kind of greened a bit maybe quickly. I mean, I didn't really have anything better to do, but the rabbles really slowed me down near the end. And I was going to I was gonna struggle to get another colony there for a while. He, uh, he was feeling a little bit behind, but he could have probably caught up with a few provinces too. He had definitely the draw to do that. So, um, yeah, anyway, very interesting game with Jayfish, and uh, interesting to see how the black market plays and how there, there can be some strategy there. It's not just all about what cards you happen to get. So that's the second last game. One more to go. So this game, I think, was my most interesting game this week. And, uh, yeah, you can see some of the things that made this interesting. There's, uh, obviously, Cultist is a pretty important card here. Um, but there's the Defense and the Guardian, which is a very, <laughs> kind of, can be degenerate sometimes, where you just, both of you end up playing a ton of Cultists, and then playing a Guardian to defend, and if you slip up on the Defense for one turn, your opponent can just slam a ton of Ruins into your deck. And, uh, but there's a little more play here. Um, there's some good trashing with Exorcist, which can be drawn dead on the Cultist and then still trash. That's another nice thing about these Night cards. Um, and then there's also a, uh, there's Familiar, but I think we, we ended up both ignoring that for the similar reason of once you get the Guardians defended, then it's kind of just a cantrip. And, and then there's a question of what you build to after that. Um, so you get all the Cultists drawing well. And then, uh, can you even do anything else? Um, there's some interesting play that we were able to get in uh, fun, fun sort of endgame uh, dynamics. So take a look. Okay, I've got a game with Dre EK, who I know from the League and Discord and all that. And it looks like we got a lot of good junking with Familiar and Cultist. Um, Exorcist, Raise, and Ratcatcher are good trashing, and the Guardian, this is the classic like, Guardian Cultist game, and you could top deck things with Traveling Fair, that's also interesting. Bridge, the only village is Ghost on like, I guess you could Ghost like a Cultist, that could be a good draw. This could be a kind of silly Cultist Guardian game. Um, oh, there's Salty Earth. Okay, there's no Lurker for Honey Ground, so... Let's see. Um, I have 3-4. Oh, and there's also Militia for attack. Yeah, this is a pretty beefy attack game. Um, I think the Rat Catcher is the best Copper Trashing, Exorcist, and Raze are good estate trashing. Um, and goes for Militia. She goes... Yeah, I, I don't think I want the Militia, actually. I might want Silver Exorcist. Um, I am going to want to get into the Exorcist eventually. But... Yeah, so I want to hit five. That's what the silver's good for. Um, I could go silver militia to make that even more likely, and also reduce her chances of getting five. Um, or I could open with trashing in the rat catcher. Rat catcher trashing is somewhat slow. So if I wanted to do like silver, like a top deck the rat catcher, maybe that's the way to go. I do obviously wish I could have done that first turn. Every turn counts, gets a raise. It's a raise. I don't know about that. Um Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not seeing the good chance to play the militia if I'm gonna be going for cultist. And cultist. I mean, it does go well with exorcist, so it's a question. I can go get the exorcist. All right, I'm kind of okay getting attacked here. That's just a silver coming. 
half chance. All right. Um, so I will get the I will get the not the input. What do you call it? Uh, the wisp, and she gets a cultist. So. Um, starting next turn, I should start. Well, I think I'm going to get my own cultist here. And then we can start with the guardians. This is either three or four. She gets a red pitcher. I'm going to get the cultist. If I don't get militia, okay, I get cultist, so I don't get militia, and that's another cultist. Okay, so this will be a guardian and trash the estate. Play the guardian. Hmm. I need to be playing this with the Wisp, but... I would be kind of happy if it top decks. Okay, so I have Cultist on top. Um, so, I could get myself a Guardian. She has two Cultists and, sh and then Shuffled. Okay, um, I could also top deck a cultist. Now I think I will get the guardian and um, either silver or rat catcher. I think rat catcher and I will top deck the rat catcher. I'm okay not getting more cultists until I have full guardian defense, which I will here. This is nice. Um, once I have those more cultists, then my exorcist can take care of the rest of the trashing. Right, catcher can do a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm happy with just one rat catcher. Raise isn't doing too much. But she is trashing a little bit faster than me. And again, I have these little wisps though, so those are nice. We've each trashed two estates, she's trashed two coppers. I'm gonna Well, I'm not gonna trash a copper this turn, I'll trash it next turn, but Yeah, the problem is she doesn't have a way to play both the militia and the cultists. So the militia is going to be worse than a silver for her, I think, especially because I hope to have the guardian defense. But she's got three cultists, and that's attractive. And all right, so I think I want another cultist here. I'll go ahead and just trash a copper. Yeah, that, that Guardian defense is doing well. Okay, so I, I'm, I might not be able to get a Guardian here. Oh, this Ruin Market might be worth keeping, actually. Because it's, uh, it's the only... Well, no, this bridge. Never mind, and there's Top Traveling Fair. What am I saying? Um... Yeah, let's trash the market. That's not worth it. Okay, so this is Guardian or Risk. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, if I do traveling for her, I can just card game. I think I need it. All right. I'll finally get to trash this estate. I will a wisp, so. She gets her cultist down. I think she's up to four cultists. And I have just one. Which is pretty bad for me. No, I have two. Okay. I'm good there. Um, with two guardians here. I think I will just play one of them. Um, oh, but the next shuffle might not... Oh, I have two will lists in there. I can draw around. Um... <sighs> Hmm, yeah. I need more cultists. So I think this first will list will definitely draw, so let's play it and then rat catcher and the other will list. If the will o wisp doesn't draw, the second will o wisp doesn't draw, I think I want to be drawing that card because it's a good card. Either it's my cultist or my exorcist. So. Gets gold, no guardian. Alright, um, will o wisp will draw. Will o wisp draws guardian. Okay, cultist. 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 Bam, that's a lot of ruins. And I don't get my exorcist, but that's okay. I have nine, which can be seven and two buys. I think I will just play the one guardian again. Um, I mean, I guess a rat catcher is better than... Yeah, um, yeah, three runes, that's, that's tough. I've got four runes in her. Only one rune, me. Yeah, okay, so I'm definitely going to get another cultist. Keep drawing. And I guess I'll get a rat catcher. Um... But sure, I'll top deck and play one guardian. Mm. Trash is the cultist. <clears throat> Seems a bit desperate. Because you can, like, play that cultist. Yeah. This is uh, this is going well. She has to buy Guardian here, or she gets pounded with Cultist. She has a Guardian in hand, either way. Um, I'm not going to trash anything. I'm going to play another Rat Catcher. And then I'm going to Cultist, and another Cultist, and another Cultist. And now I have six with a Guardian in hand. <coughs> and I think I wanted to start going for Ghosts which I think is best with haunted, Hunting Grounds. Because Hunting Grounds will be trashed in a duchy, I can get two ghosts out of it. Um, but do I want... I can't top deck cultists anymore. And this exorcist is useless. But yeah, maybe I should have exorcist. The silver. Yeah. Alright, yeah, the key is to play the will o wisp before the cultists if I can. I don't know if this hunting grounds is a good idea. I think I'm gonna call my rat catchers to trash coppers here. Province. Interesting.
Wow, that's slightly annoying. I could use a silver though. Just by the guardian. Alright, will wisp. Will wisp. Cultist. Cultist. Now I have the six. And this is where I get to trash that hunting grounds. The goal here is going to be to get ghosting the cultist. Playing bridges. My ghosts. Maybe? Maybe that's the goal? Let's see. Um, yeah, I, I think I clearly... Well, yeah, the gold is nice. And let's trash the hunting grounds for being duchy and ghost guardian. Alright. <clears throat> no reactors in this camp, so... No more trashing coppers. will o are nice for finding guardians. So she just gets more big money. I'm skeptical because I think that the ghosts can work out. Alright, now here I have six. And I'm going to ghost something, so I think... <coughs> well, I'm not quite consistent on that. I think I want to get a bridge now. Oh, I could ghost the bridge. Ooh, that would be a really nice start to the turn. Then Will-O-Wisps draw it really well. That's assuming I have one more Will-O-Wisp there. They don't draw super well because they don't draw cultists, but... Um, yeah, this traveling fair... lets me top deck the bridge. Um, let's try it. That, that seems cool enough, at least. It does mean, yeah, no, I can still do the relative cost thing with Exorcist. It doesn't let me trash things to get little wisps that I could have trashed like estates. But it does let me trash like a silver twin nymph or something. That yeah, still lets me trash. Well, the duchy's in the discard, but still won't be able to find the will of us to get the cultist. Hmm. Yeah, this deck isn't drawing that consistently. Yet. Uh, yeah. I have a rat catcher, I think I'm going to trash the pop again. Gold Guardian. I'm skeptical of this big money. It's going to require a lot of Guardians. They call a rat catcher. I definitely want to play the gold, because I, Imp is nice here. And, Let's just get more cultists. Oh, no. I, well, nah, one retro clock I drew again. In. Yeah, 
Maybe I should have been trashing that gold to get the. She's trashed two cultists, and I have. Well, I don't exactly have track, but I think I have at least five. Maybe I just have four. So it's either four, three, or five, two. Plays guardians, two guardians. I wouldn't play two guardians. Um, yeah, let's try to All right, come on, draw, 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 draw. Okay, do I have any more actions in there? I've got to have another will whisper. Um, anyway, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna touchy exorcist the duchy. I'm going to play this. Oh, I can top deck bridge if I want again. Gated Prince can top deck it. Yeah, so I'll do this so I can top deck uh... Oh no, I don't, maybe I don't want to do that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I want to top deck any of these. Well, I could top deck Ratcatcher, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit a Will Wisp. So uh, maybe this should just be gold. Let's go. So we should hit the Will Wisp. Good Guardian. And let's crash this Duchy to another Ghost. And keep my Guardian. Cashing another cultist, really going all out for this like one problem. Playing survivors. Wow. Okay, I think I better win this. Oh, should I trash this one? Track catcher? I don't have a catcher. Yeah, I think I only have this one track catcher. Maybe I have a second. Still not hitting eight. Yeah, uh, this big money strategy seems kind of weak. I really hope I can punish it. Um, which means I probably need to score just to prevent a pileout if her guardians slip up and I and she can just pile guardians with ten money. Maybe it'll happen. Maybe she'll get a garden here and then make it even easier. Six money. Duchy. Interesting. Okay, so. Uh, Will this twice? He'll bridge this. Okay. Back catcher. Now let's do this chain. That's all the ruins. Um. So I really need to score. And let's get an imp with the exorcist. Um. True. Right, catch you on the map. Still needs 10 to pile a guardian. Um, I can do 12 for province duchy, but I think I just want the single province. And
on the bridge. Exorcist the silver. Get an imp. Hit the bridge. Hmm, that's unlucky. Oh well. <sighs> Okay. Well, I could have played that a little bit better near the end. I think getting that extra bridge was unnecessary. Um, I probably should have just guaranteed I uh, ghost the ghost the imp. Imp is a great card to ghost because you get the actions out of it. Yeah. Yeah, Coldest Guardian, where you're like, I need to be guarded because otherwise there's a ton of ruins flooding into my deck. And uh, yeah, so you need to be guarded like every single turn. And so that, fortunately, we had a traveling pair, so we could actually get more than just the Guardian. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's tough because you play all these the Guardian, the Cultists, and then hopefully you draw your Guardian. But if you don't draw your Guardian, you have to buy one all the money you have in your turn, because otherwise you're going to get all the ruins. Yep, so that's that game. Thanks for watching. So yeah, I think this game illustrates what I really love about Exorcist. There's just a ton you can do with Exorcist. Um, you can use it to trash whatever. I mean, it only trashes one at a time, but it does so non-terminally, and you can draw it dead. You can also use it to get these uh, Will-O-Wisps, which I thought were pretty nice for me. Um, that turn when I, I, will, I was able to put three ruins into her deck uh, was kind of a surprise and was built on the Will-O-Wisps. I was at the bottom of a shuffle and I was able to wisp, draw wisp, and then cycle around and get to my cultists. Um, the other really nice thing is, you know, once you, once you want to keep building, uh, you can trash things like Hunting Grounds into two ghosts. It takes two turns for that, of course, but uh, you get those two ghosts and then... Once you have ghosts, you can trash silvers into imps, and imp is a great thing to ghost. That's basically uh, drawing four extra cards and getting two extra actions at the start of your turn, which is amazing. It's a great start. So, um, yeah, Exorcist is amazing. I almost always open it. Uh, that might not be correct, but I, I really like it as a card, and that game illustrates some of its best play. So, yeah, even Cultist Guardians games have some interesting uh, dynamics around uh if there's other night cards in play, Ghost Town is another really nice night card. Um, but Exorcist, of course, is a great night card that trashes. Thanks for watching. Okay, so those are the games of the week. Um, you can see all of the boards here again. Uh, check back next week for another batch of games. And you can also check out some of the judgment matches we've got going already. We have uh, Groundskeeper vs. Minion, the first one, as well as Page vs. Peasant, and now also... Wishing Well versus Menagerie. So, lots of fun content coming on this channel, and thanks for tuning in.